So yeah, like um, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, went out and got a summer haircut. And um, that's something I used to do all the time. I got away from it. Oh, jeez. I guess it's been five or more years ago. I don't know why, but so I got it buzzed down to like, uh, I don't know what the guard number is, but it's like a half an inch, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely a half an inch on the sides and the back, and then a little longer, but not much on the uh, top and uh, in the front. Feels nice. Definitely a lot easier to get ready in the morning. Hey guys, how's it going and girls? It's uh, it's been a weird kind of July here in Virginia. Usually, usually this time of year we we have like a lot of dry, dry weather, and uh, this year we've had rain almost every day in July, and that's that's pretty weird. I'm not complaining per se. But it has, it makes, you got to jump on your opportunities to ride. So it's already rained today and it's supposed to rain again some more. So I'm getting out on the bike for a little while while I can. When the sun's shining, we make hay. So what's on my mind today? Um, what is it that makes us ride? I, uh, I did a video a few weeks back about target fixation and showed a guy on an FC7 and a horrific head-on collision. And a few of my forum buddies and other people I know um, had friends that have been killed, friends that have been horribly injured, etc., etc. And it and let me just make I, I at no point during that have I been like, well, it's time for me to give it up. But it has made me think about what is it about riding that uh, makes me come back for more? Like, why do I keep doing this thing that's inherently more dangerous than riding in a car? And I've got a couple of perfectly good cars. So here's what I've come up with after a little bit of due consideration. Um, First and foremost, it's the thing you feel most when you're in the zone and really um, cruising along and at the right speed, do a clean turn, come out of traffic and crank the throttle. Um, and I guess the best way to describe it is like a, a sort of a perfect union between man and machine. Like you don't get it, that sort of deal when you're um, when you're in a car, you get uh, just that feeling of your inputs are directly into the machine and everything's tied together, and uh, and it's really cool. It's a it's a cool sort of harmony, I guess is the best way to describe it in my mind. So what else? Uh, the second thing that I feel like draws me to riding and that's part of my thrill of riding is uh, sort of that there's a connection between you and the world around you when you're riding that you just don't get in a car. I was back, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I was riding by myself. I um, don't know how I stumbled into this area. It's an area in Richmond called Carytown. And um, for those of you not from the area, it's like an area that's got a lot of, uh, it's sort of a trendy area. It's got a lot of bars and restaurants in it. It's great places to eat, great bars. And uh, it's, you know, sort of the spot, or one of the spots in town. But anyway, when you go down there and it's on a weekend night between 5 and 
9 or 10. It is jammed up, popping off. And there's people all out on the street and the traffic's full. You're, not, you're just going to sort of putter through there, which is why I avoid it. But for whatever reason, on St. Patty's Day weekend, I was going through there. And so, you know, the sidewalks are full of people going from bar to bar and, you know, they got their St. Patty's hats and all that on. But uh, what I noticed was, like, if, when given the opportunity, like, they would engage me. Like, they wanted to talk to me and, hey, you know, cool bike. And, and I talked to a couple groups and, you know, just said hey and happy St. Patty's Day or whatever in a way that you just wouldn't do. You wouldn't get if you were in a car. And, uh... I guess it's because you're not surrounded by steel. I don't know. The, the really cool thing about that is you can interact with those people as much as you want. Like, I don't feel like talking to somebody if they're stupid drunk or just being obnoxious or whatever. I just don't engage them. And, and most people will chalk it up to, oh, he can't hear me in the helmet or he's got, uh, he's got earplugs in. Well, I don't care what they think. But, so it's, it's really cool. Like, you get as much interaction with those people as you want um, but it's more than just people it's like the whole world around you um, like somebody can be up ahead of me a ways and uh, if they're smoking a cigarette and got their window open I can smell it and uh, like one of my favorite times to ride is in the evenings close to sunset just ride towards the sunset and watch it and like I, it would never occur to me to do something like that in a car like to get in my car and drive towards the sunset and watch it <laughs> you know, I, mean, I think that was stupid. Um, so yeah, you know that that connection to the world around you a little little bit, a little bit more connected. And then uh, item number three, uh, this part of the thrill of the riding, and this is one I didn't really want to want to see, but I think it's pretty unavoidable. Um, like there's this thing when people are in war. And they say when they're in a battle and they make it through on the other side and they see death all around them and then you know, they eat like that garbage food that they feed soldiers, the K-rations or whatever they call them. And no matter how bad the food is, like it's, they'll say it's like the best food they've ever tasted and you know, they want a woman or you know, whatever. <laughs> but, um, and they say like having an experience close to death makes you feel more alive. And... Um, I think I'm forced to admit that, like, like every time you ride, you realize, you, you know, it's, something could happen, you could die. Now, I, I'm not saying that we stare death in the face, because I don't think it's quite that dramatic. Um, so maybe we're not staring death in the face, but, like, we're glancing in the general direction. You know, that, that sort of brush with danger, where death is an element of it, I think is definitely a big part of the thrill of the ride the uh, bond with other riders like it's uh it's really cool like I, I met some people on a trip to Blue Ridge Parkway talked to them for 15 minutes rode with them for I don't know it was 20 minutes 30 minutes I don't know how long where is it long? I don't know I don't remember but um you know we had that really cool moment and that was it like it was over I'll never talk to him again never see him again um but it's a cool thing, you know, people you run into at bike meets or um, a group ride, like there's a group that rides in Michigan on the weekends, uh, on Sundays. Um, it's just nothing like sharing that experience with fellow riders. Uh, or if there is something like that, I haven't experienced it. Yeah, no, and then, then there's the adrenaline element, too. I mean, I don't, I don't deny, um, like, there's a unique feeling. When you crank the throttle and you get the response that you get from any reasonably performance-oriented bike, and, I, and I'm, I don't put this bike on a par with super sports because I, I ride one regularly, um, and, and it's definitely off the line. It's, it'll hang with anything I've seen those faster bikes okay. well anything but my friend Dave's Pentagalli he's got a, just got a 1299 Pentagalli and that thing is sick um, but mortal bikes it's right there with them around town uh, now 
you go in a high speed situation like a track, this bike is no match for those super sports. But it's plenty enough to give you that adrenaline rush when you crank the throttle. More than enough. And the sound of it doesn't suck either. In fact, I don't think that I've I've really heard a bike that I like the sound of better than this bike. It's uh, stunning, really. You wouldn't think a little 700 two. A little 700cc parallel twin would um, make the kind of noise that this thing does with the full Yoshimura exhaust, but um, it does. It's really stunning. I thought it was going to be cool, but I don't think it'd be this cool. What is it that Anne described it as? She said, it seems like you summon Satan. So, um, anyway. So, yeah, that's what the, uh, that's what the thrill of the ride is for me. In a nutshell. So, what's it, you know, what's it for you guys? What is it that keeps you coming back for more? Uh, post up a comment, let me know. Any of these things I said? Some of them? None of them? Um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. So, until next time, see you around.